Damn, the Demon Slayer Season 4 final episode was fire, I mean literally, especially under Ubuyashiki's ass. This dude somehow managed to find out that Muzan is going to moon dance in his garden, so he made a perfect plan for him. The plan isn't that much special, it was more like, be a mouse food, fall the mouse in the mouse trap, and let the cats jump on the mouse while it's busy trying to escape. And surprisingly, it works. Muzan swoops in Abuyashiki's garden, did the moonwalk for a whole three minutes in episode 7, and two minutes in episode 8, and he's like, what the fuck is going on here? Because there are no guards shaking their asses, Abuyashiki and his wife are looking at him as if he's a guest, and their kids are playing with their balls as if nothing is happening. But just as he decides to finish his dinner and run away while no one is watching, boom cheeky cheeky boom boom. The Abuyashiki house blasts away with a massive bomb blast, making our Hashira go out of their minds, but just as Musen survives and is busy regenerating, some pregnant flesh seeds start flying around like pigs, giving birth to tons of iron thorns, and those thorns give birth to their own babies, and soon the whole generation grows up inside Musen's every body part, even inside his baseballs and bat I guess. But just as he thought he could still escape, Miss Tamayo swoops in, puts her hand in him, informing him that she gave him some expensive drugs which are so expensive that it'll transform him from a millionaire demon to homeless guy. These words hit Musen's balls too hard, causing him to kick Tamayo and grab her opi, I mean head, and put his finger in her eye, causing Tamayo to call the rock, and Mr. Rock swoops in like a helicopter, blowing Musen's head up, remembering his backstory about how he met his master for the first time and last time. Suddenly, Musen starts regenerating at a fast and furious speed, in a colossal titan style, making Hamajima remind Abuyashiki's word about, the only way to kill Musen is by fighting him until daybreak. At the same time, our Hashira gangs enter the chat and see Musen is shaking his ass, and suddenly, the rock starts screaming, telling this is the final boss, if you don't want to engage in any other useless arc, pull out your long swords, let's finish this shit right here. Just as the rock said, everyone pulls out their swords, but just as they're about to put it in Jackson's ass, Musen starts smiling as if he's gonna do something naughty naughty, and suddenly, the infinity castle door appears right under their legs, making them fall into it. And it's not like they're the only ones, the American breathing user demon among us player Jenya, the papa piggy Inosuke, and some random punks, everyone falls into the infinity castle. While all the fuckers, including Hashira, are found themselves in a what the fuck is going on situation, we see Inosuke is happy to get there, and the Pikachu, the guy whom we see screaming a lot while there is no reason to scream, is now falling without screaming. The episode ends with Tanjiro saying to Musen that he'll fuck him tonight for sure, where Musen replies him, fuck me if you can. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it, comment down your feelings about this episode and its animation, hit the like if you truly enjoyed it, and hit the subscribe if you want more content like this, I'm sure we'll meet again in next video.